<laughs> Police are trying to solve an armed robbery at a wing stop. The restaurant is located at Blanding Boulevard and Timaquana Road, and according to police, two masked bandits with guns pistol whipped two employees during a holdup early this morning. Channel 4's Janice Harris spoke with a manager at the restaurant, and she's joining us live. Janice. That wing stop open right now, but when I went in earlier today, the door was locked with employees inside. I spoke with a manager who told me he's trying to figure out how he can make his employees feel safe again after such a crazy night. It was a two minute armed robbery that has this man thinking twice about coming to shop here. Already I have people um, messaging me telling me they don't want to go to that wing stop no more. You know, I don't want to go to that wing stop anymore um, right now, you know, because I fear for my life. Brantley says his mom lives up the street from this small shopping center, where according to police, two men with guns walked in at just before midnight. We spoke with a woman who told us she walked in just minutes before the robbery happened, saying, quote, I went to sit down. I was sitting down maybe for about four minutes, and I was on the phone with one of my friends. She goes on to say, two guys came in there with guns, and they told all of us to get down on the ground. Police say the crime was caught on camera. The masked armed robbers got away with the store's money and two customers' cell phones. According to police, there have been two other robberies in the last year with very similar scenarios. In each case, there are two masked gunmen. They robbed the clerk at the cash register. One happened at a subway on Timaquana Road, just two miles from here. And yet there's another incident that happened in this area. It happened April 2016 at the Metro PCS right next door. It's an unrelated case, but it's one where folks were saying that they have heard of crime happening in this area literally right next door. Again, the description of those men involved, very vague. They were wearing masks and they had on all dark clothing. But if you know anything, you're asked to please contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Live on the West Side, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.